a coffee shop here. Coffee and tea. They have a coffee roaster. We have to go check that out. What's up guys? Welcome back to Ride the Beaten. I am still in Antib and here with the Leifte. Good morning guys. <laughs> and today we're going on another excursion. Not on a motorbike this time, but we have a, a local guide with us. Joseph. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, my god. <laughs> later, later. So, what do you want me to tell you? Hi, good morning. Good morning. good morning. good morning. We are going to have fun. Yes. C'est quoi votre nom de famille? Béliard. We're going, I don't really know exactly where, but we're going on a tour of a few towns and cities uh, around this, this area. So, I'm really excited to see what we're going to see today. Right, so our first stop is apparently a town called Monton. Moujan. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I can't pronounce any, any words in French. It's Moujan. such a confusing language. Here we are. Welcome to Moujan. Wow. What a stunning place. Apparently. That town over there is Gras. Then we have the Alps over there. Wow, this is beautiful. That's pretty cool. Paolo Picasso. Oh, this thing is pretty cool. Like a mini village. Mini version of the town. The street is full of painters and ateliers and all kinds of things. Every hole in the wall is a, an atelier. Hundreds of paintings. It must be an artist's town. This is like an interesting place. It's like it has ancient architecture and walls here and then new modern buildings in the middle of it. So this is apparently a pretty artistic town. I get that since, uh, since Picasso lived here. And apparently this town is where Picasso died. That's interesting. Now we are headed where? Uh, we are going to... Sorry. Chapelle Notre Dame de Vie. De Vie. What was that? Is that... Joseph. What is this uh, Chapelle Notre Dame de Vie? Eh ben, dove c'è la, la casa di Picasso? Okay. La, la, la casa si chiama, uh, the house is called like that because it's next to the chapel. Oh, so this is where Picasso lived. That's where and we're died. going now. And died. So he died in the place we are going now. Yeah, exactly. Ah, right. <laughs> Confusing. Cool. Let's go see Picasso's house. This was a short little tour of Mouja. Mouja. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Really yeah. beautiful view. Oh, the car is hot now. Oh, <laughs> yes. You want here? Yeah, wow. Now we are at Chapelle Notre Dame de Vie, Picasso's house. That looks like a Picasso bull or a water buffalo. This is part of Picasso's garden. That's pretty cool. That's the house. I'm probably sounding ignorant now, but I don't really know why Picasso was so famous. What was so special about him? Well, everything he did is art. His name is... Uh across the globe so very likely he did something that touched anyone you know because yeah. ceramic painting sculpture and because he lived so long until 91 and 92 so and he got to know so many people in the <laughs> 20th century so his life was absolutely amazing this is an interesting little visit too bad we couldn't get in because it's closed only open on weekends but fun to see where Picasso lived and died. This house that Picasso owned, 
well, it used to be owned by the Guinness family. Exactly. So the the exactly people making the Guinness beer, exactly. they owned this before Picasso. Yeah. I can understand why Picasso chose this place. It's a very tranquil and peaceful place with amazing views all around. That was interesting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely interesting. So where are we headed uh, next? Uh, we are going to Valbonne and then uh, uh, but we're, not, we're not going to stop in Valbonne. We are going to Bourdon through Valbonne. Next Valbonne stop, is, is, a, is very posh. You have a lot of Scandinavian people. And this is also where you have the, like the high-tech companies and the university, like the, the French Silicon Valley. That's Valbonne? It's very well known. Valbonne? Yeah, Sofia Antipolis. But now we're going to Gordon. Yeah, but we go through Valbonne. This is so confusing. I, I'm struggling with these names. <laughs> Valbonne, Gordon. It's the pronunciation of everything. That uh, just fucks me up. Completely the same. Look at this view because this is stunning. Wow. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Who threw away the bread? So this is kind of cool. Uh, this town we rode through on our last tour. And that factory down there is a perfume factory. What a stunning view. Yeah, stunning. Look at this. Like zigzagging trail up the mountain there, all the way up to whatever it is up there—a monastery or a castle or something. Yeah, there was a castle in Gordon. Yeah. Before we explore Gordon a little bit, we are going to have some lunch. And our lovely manager at the Backpackers, Natasha, packed us some, uh, some picnic, a picnic basket. Yeah. So let's see what's in it. And wow, <laughs> holy crap, what the, this is, this is not normal. Like, not what really. the this hell? This is amazing. Look at this. So, what do we have? <laughs> oh, it's so much actually. Let's see what she packed. Some uh, potato chips. Uh, some chocolate Mikado. And some cheese, of course. We're in France. And a beer for the road. That's important. Thank you, Natasha. This was great. Views like this. And great company and new experiences and a beer can't get much better than this a cup of coffee would be absolutely perfect <laughs> <laughs> this place is just magic it's been so nice I was supposed to stay at this hostel for two days and then uh, I got to know uh, <laughs> the Please. people working there and uh, and some of the guests and it's just been amazing we've been hanging out every single night and just yeah. talking shit doing nothing tonight again of course <laughs> <laughs> and exploring the city and, uh, and the surrounding areas Leite is also new to this region so yeah this is what I'm, I was looking for exactly this yeah. place a place like this with the mountain and the sea it's awesome yeah finally I found it so <laughs> yeah yeah, amazing. This is a pretty cute town. Lots of glass and jewelry around, everywhere. Wow, what a view from this place. <laughs> What's that? I mean, wow, I can't believe it, really. I'm just kind of stunned with this view actually. It's 
it's insane. So behind us here, you have uh, Nice. You can see Nice, that's the city there, and Nice Airport. And then uh, a little bit to the side there, you have that strange triangle building. Uh, if you remember the episode where I arrived in uh, Antib, I was pointing out that uh, apartment building complex. You can see it all the way from here. And that's the reason that they uh, uh, stopped allowing uh, constructions that big, that close to the sea, because you can see it from everywhere. Et ça, je suis presque sûr que c'est l'aéroport privé de Mandelieu Lanapoule, Private Plains. It looks like an airport, doesn't yeah, it? More or less, yes. Hmm. Yeah, but... very good. Even the village is so particular, so tiny. Yeah. All the walls are with rocks. It's so tiny. All of the houses. Yeah, it's very narrow streets yeah, and it's very beautiful. Narrow, very narrow. I'm used to to live close to the mountain, so the sea is amazing, but mountains and sea combined together is even. You would love Norway then? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure. If it weren't for the cold? <laughs> yeah. I will come to Norway, 100%. What an amazing place. Ah, it's amazing. A hidden passage. What the fuck? Incredible. This place is incredible. So the next stop is Tourette Sulu. Tourette Sulu. Sulu. I will never be able to pronounce French. I, ah, it's a horrible I language. <laughs> I completely feel you. <laughs> Can you all Yeah. <laughs> This place is, is just incredible. One place is better than Oi! Like Spain. Well, this is like uh, Setanil de las Bodegas. Setanil de las Bodegas, yeah, exactly. Let's have a look at Tourette sur Loup. This is pretty cool. It's like a hidden passage to the medieval town. This is so much fun, walking around in history. Just imagine all the characters and people and everyone who has been living out their lives in this place throughout the centuries. Oh, look what a hotel. Oh, that's a hotel. This is a hotel? Yeah. What a nice little courtyard. The fountain and... What can you tell me about this city? What do you well, know? it's a medieval town. This is where they shot the movie again to catch a thief. Ah. Alfred Hitchcock, Brass Kelly, and uh, Gary Grant. And uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, that was that was here. Huh? That was here. They shot the movie. Okay. Yeah, some of, some part of it, and also in uh, where we've been before. Oh, cool. Another thing, there's a lot of art here, in all forms. There's a wood carving. That's cool. Damn. I never knew art was this big. I've never seen as many ateliers and paintings and sculptures and stuff like that since. In every single village, close yeah. to, close to Antibes. It's or everywhere. Venice. Yeah. Picasso influence, I think, or Matisse and yeah, Chagall. Yeah, Every one of them. 
I can understand that you get inspired when you live in a place like this. Yeah. This is... Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> it's stunning. So that was Tourette's sur loop. Tourette's sur loop. Direction Vans. Oh. Vans. What's special oh. about Vans? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Joseph knows. Kurt Jergens, a very famous German actor. He was in a movie with Brigitte Bardot and Jutke La Femme. He lived in Vans. And every year, during the Cannes Festival, he would invite all the German reporters to his house and he would treat them well. So that when his movies were released, he always had good reviews. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's smart. true. And uh, what about the Chapelle of Matisse? Uh, the Chapelle of Matisse, uh, well, actually, we're going to see it. It is apparently an amazing uh, piece of art. Yeah. Let's go have a look at uh, Matisse's Chapelle. Do you know anything about Matisse? I studied a lot about Matisse, but yeah, years ago. I just know, I just re remember some paintings, but the, about the story, I don't know anything about it. I've heard the name, and that's it. This is the building. How can you be so famous for this? Yeah, I agree. It's not really impressive to me either. No. It's, uh, I can get the idea, okay, okay. Impressive, but this, just this one, is so it's for a good call, maybe a good message. But like anyone but who can draw, this is like basic learning how to draw things. Exactly. It's four years old, maybe I could draw yeah. something like that. But it's okay, it's okay. Huh? I, I don't know. How why it's so famous. This is his uh, style? This is what he's famous for? No, no. no normally style is... He doesn't use the, the pen, oh. but he, he paints very colorful. Okay. In a colorful way. So... And this just looks like, like sketching. For <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. So here is the chapel that he painted. To be honest with you, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> so look at the terrace. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> this was a bit underwhelming. I think. I am a little bit disappointed. Yeah. I would not recommend coming to the Matisse Museum or but Chapel at least or whatever if it you're here. It would be free. Yeah, if it was free, it would be nice, but not okay, for but. 8 euros. This is, that's, yeah, not worth it. Oh, okay. Can't win every time? But every day we have to find a way to waste money, so <laughs> today we found two. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> This is why I don't understand art. The first floor, I like the, the two little portraits in the hand. Was well, very good. But the style in this, in this, well, I suppose. La, La Chapelle, je, I, I, je compris pas. Tu comprends pas. Well, I suppose there is something from behind it. It was meant to be like that. No, I like it. I knew it was like that. <laughs> I knew it was like that. Interesting to have seen. Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's have a look at Vance and then uh, head back to Antib. Yeah. The hometown. There's the old town of Vance. Vance. Huh. Yeah, Vance seems uh, a lot bigger than the other towns we've visited today. There's a coffee shop here. Coffee and tea. They have a coffee roaster. We have to go check that out. The one kilo coffee roaster. Joseph? Have it not? Been? Never seen this one. Bonjour. No, he's Do looking for a coffee. Oh, my English is so so. My husband is big really well. Okay. Um, it's my. Um, I roast coffee. You, you roast? Yes. Yeah, me too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. In Norway. <gasps> I, I speak. I <laughs> Cool. 
I throw it at, at the moment. At the moment. Oh. Which country is that? I'm from Norway. Norway? Yeah. So it should be light? Yeah, very very light. Yeah. We roast as light as like light. just yeah. a few seconds after crack. Yeah. Mm. Can I try some coffee? Well, what is your most exciting je, coffee? Je suis Italian. Oh, please. <laughs> you, you want so, to try something you're not used to? Yeah. If you have something uh, special. Maybe not like really dark, but... Uh, Sidi Klang. Sidi Klang is the uh, northern part of Sumatra. Right. The beans is coming from Kenya. Ah. You know the SL from Kenya? SL from Scottish Labs? Yeah. yeah. You know. It's an hybrid coffee coming from uh, the SL18. But grown in Sumatra? Grown in Sumatra. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. yeah, this smells fun. really nice. This is the, 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 blend, the classic blend that my wife showed to you. Um, it, this is, is, is very Italian, this coffee. Bre <laughs> Brazil, Honduras, it's much lighter. Ethiopia. The soil, two ones that we don't roast it. <laughs> it's a bit watery, like, um, it's not really interesting in terms of taste, it's... No, it Absolutely. tastes like a burn, <laughs> tastes very acid. Yeah, but the people in here, they are influenced by the Italians. Yeah. They think the coffee is the best in the world, right there, so... <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I am Italian, so... Yeah. <laughs> To be honest with you, I don't like our coffee. Yeah. It's my my stomach hurts every ah. time after. Mm -hmm. Where do you buy your coffee from? This kind of shit. Where do you buy, <laughs> buy your green beans from? Hamburg, Barcelona sometimes. Which companies? And France. Uh, Maretera. Maretera. Uh, For uh, Barcelona. I haven't heard about them. Mm. In France, what do you we think? Also have this a was a, a better. Which one? The second one. It, it, what is that? Hmm? This is green beans, green coffee beans. It's not so this is what I buy, and then I roast it to make oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. The second one is better than the first. Sure. For me. No? Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's a better, better body and. It's a classical coffee. More, more sweet. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a nice trip. Thank, Thank you. you so much. See ya. Bye-bye. This was fun. <laughs> How many did you have? How many did you drink? Two. Oh. That was your, your first time seeing a coffee roaster? I had my second one after second. Nomad. It's difficult to, to explain, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's just another a scale of smells yeah and it's something that i am not used to normally uh, because okay in italy we have our best coffee uh, <laughs> as we call that but everyone knows that is false so i'm used to smell just very strong very yeah. strong taste coffee and I'm not used to to feel to catch all the flowers, all the fruits, all these sweet shades mm -hmm. in the coffee. And well, this was a fun, uh, fun little tour of uh, some of. Oh wow! Look at this car. That's a Batman car. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this was a really fun tour of yeah, absolutely. Uh, some of France's hidden gems. Yeah, a beautiful end. Beautiful ending. With Got to taste some coffee. Yeah, <laughs> unexpected completely. Perfect. <laughs> also for you, you yeah. were looking for this. So. <laughs> looking Perfect. for an old town and finding a coffee roastery. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. But exactly. I uh, yeah. hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, little tour with us as much as we have enjoyed it. <laughs> If you want to see what we end up doing next, then uh, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the next video when it comes out. And uh, I guess I will see you in the next Absolutely. episode. See you. Peace out. <laughs>